Hi folks, this is Arlene once again. What I have here is the eyeball and I have it so it will fit into this um, into this bird. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to hang on to that. What you need to do is cut it with a um, with a um, scissor or whatever and then you want to just hang on to that. It should be brown in color. What we're going to do real quick here is we're going to go ahead and make a little like a little, uh, we're going to stab a little cross in the center here just so that little twig has some place to go. Okay, so because it's so small, I'm going to use my little plier here. I'm going to hang on to that eye until I get that situated um, in. Whoops, where'd it go here? No, it's way over here. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to hang on to that eye until I get that dropped where I want to go, right in that hole, like so. Okay, and then what you want to do is take your thumb and just push gently until that eye is in there, just like that. Okay. So then the next thing we're going to do is we need to put an eyelid on it. This is plumber's putty. You can get this at any. Um, location, um, any hardware store. What we want to do is we want to take a, a knife that's not really a carving knife, which I have here, and I'm going to slice a little piece off of this. I guess you can hear the thunder in the background. We're getting a thunder shower today. It's been a very muggy day here today in PA. Okay, I'm going to mix this. It's a two-part mix, and it, you have about 15 minutes they or 10 minutes to work on it excuse me 10 minutes to work on it but what we're going to do is we're going to work on it much quicker than that let me just mix this really quickly for you and um, until it becomes a gray in color okay so we're going to just keep rolling it and rolling it and rolling it until we get that gray color mixed into it okay and you're going to take a very small piece and you're going to roll it out. This stuff really smells horrible and I suggest you wash your hands after you're done uh, with it. Okay, We're going to lay it. We're going to do the bottom part of the eyelid first. Okay, So we're going to take about half of this, just like so. Roll it out a little bit more. And we're going to just lay it on there, like so. Just to follow that eye. Okay like that. Get it to stay there. That's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to push the bottom portion in first. Just like so. That's alright if it's out like that. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to take this portion off. We're going to take this portion off here. And we're just going to keep pushing that in there until that eyelids this and keep slivering a little piece off every time until I get that eyelid where I want it to be and how thick I want it to be. This takes a little practice to do, folks. Um, it's not a very simple thing. Practice makes perfect when it comes to doing eyelids. Everybody does it a little differently. But uh, what I do is I do the top one first, just like so. I mean the bottom one, I'm sorry, first. And, um, and after we get this done, the next segment we're going to start burning those feathers and by this point you should have had everything uh, sanded and cut out and um, you know everything should have been done. This should have been tapered off a little bit to match. Okay so that's one part of the eyelid. Let's get in there another piece here because you've got about six minutes you can work with this stuff. Okay. Pick this up and we're just going to lay it like so. If it will go that way. Yeah, there we go. And do the top portion first. And we're going to push this all back in a second here. Just get the excess off. Make sure it's a little bit in that hole. That will fill any gaps and things up. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the knife and I'm just going to open up that eye just a tad. Alright, just round it up a little bit, just like that, okay? And then round the bottom portion and kind of shape that with my knife a little bit. You can do that. Alright. 
And you can play with this a little bit uh, before it actually hardens up. All right, so that's how our eyelids are put on. Um, you know, if you don't get it right the first time, you can tear it out and do it over again until you're happy with how that eyelid looks. Okay, so it's it's not, once you have this in, doesn't mean it's in stone. Now you can pull it back out if you're not happy with it. See, I'm trimming a little bit more off because the eyelid's kind of thick. And uh, let's put that up there a little bit. Just like that. And I'm going to just push it in a little bit with my hand. And I'm going to work it out again a little bit with the knife, tip of the knife. Okay? So that's how the eyelids are put on, uh, these birds. And it takes a little practice, like I said, so take your time. Um, I know you have a time limit before this stuff gets hard, but that's okay. Um, you know, and, and as you do this, you learn how to do it very, very quickly. So, so that's our eyelid, okay? And our eye, and that's how deep it is. There's just a, a slight bulge on it. And um, we just want to clean it up around there a little bit. And then we're going to start burning it on our next segment. Okay, we'll be right back. Bye-bye.